Hello everyone, <clears throat> I welcome you all to our channel Let's Learn Automation and uh, as last in the last session we have seen uh, how to count the number of digits. In this session we need we are going to count the number of even add odd number. Okay, so last time we have seen the easier program. Now so we'll apply some more logic into that to find the count of even and odd number. So let's move to Eclipse and here I will create another class. So like I can say uh, count even odd number. So here we have uh, let's try to find out the aim for this. So here we have the number like 1, 2, 1, 3, 5, 5. So from this number we need to find out the number of even and odd. So we can say that even number are 1, one ok there is a single even number let's try to add one more so like 6 ok. So 2 and 6 are the even number like we have the count of 2 and odd we can say the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 5 odd number ok so this is the target. So from this number we can see that only there are only two even number and five odd number so we need to find out this result. Let's switch this to another place and now integer let's define the number like the same okay and now we know that we need to find out the remainder of that because first of all we need to separate out each uh, each digit we can say that so for that I will use one variable like remainder okay and let's try to find out but to finding the even number and odd number we also should have the count for that so I can say even count equal to 0 and odd count equal to 0 so that let's remove this need of this yes so this is the declaration we can say that now we'll try to apply the logic for that so again we'll apply the same condition while number greater than zero if it is true okay if the number is greater than zero then we'll apply the logic like first of all we'll try to separate out the each number by using the remainder so remainder equals to the number modulus 10 so this will give the number like a 6. First of all 6 will be separated. Now <coughs> we know that whenever we apply the modulus operation at that time a single number will be separated from the complete number. So here we'll got the 6. Now we need to find out the 6 is even or not. We know that it is a even number but let's program uh, let decide that what is the status of this number. So I will apply the condition like if the remainder modulus 2 equal to equal to 0 we already have seen the logic for the to find the even and odd number i am going to apply the same logic over here so if the remainder modulus 2 equal to equal to 0 or if we can say that 6 modulus 2 equal to equal to 0 then i will increment the count of even number so i will just copy and increment plus plus okay if it is not okay if it is not means if the remainder modulus 2 is not equal to 0 so I will write down that in the else part then it will increment the odd count like this okay this is done so uh, there may be a question that why I am not using the opening and closing braces because there is a single statement okay so if there is a single statement then there is no need to use the opening and closing braces but if there are multiple statement in if or else then we sh we had to use the opening and closing rate they should be remembered because if we haven't used the uh, opening and closing if there are multiple statement more than one statement then this loop will be applicable for the single statement so that's why now we have the single statement in if and else so I'm not using the opening and closing rest this will just incre increase the size of program okay so here we got the logic and now this is done so first of all we have checked the number is even or not with the 6 now we need to update the number like first of all the number is 1 2 3 1 5 5 6 now we need to update this number so for updating this number we'll use the same logic like 
number equal to number by divided by 10 so this particular logic will update the number or reduce the number so first of all I can say like first of all number is like this then the number become like this then the number become like this then the number become like this and uh, we can say that one so in this way the number get updated and will get the newer value in the remainder variable okay so that's why we need to update the number two and finally now let's try to print the uh, count okay so we can say that even number count equals to plus even count we'll copy the same statement for odd odd number count equals to odd count and if i try to execute this let's see what we are getting yes we are getting two and five so this is what our target so here also we get the two even and five odd so we are getting the same in output Okay, so this is the program to find out the even and odd number from the given number. So thank you.